So I was running this print last night and went to bed and I came in and I see the print has failed. It looks like the head part and it's just sitting here. Well, I have a easy pie hooked up to this. You can see it back there. And I also have this on one of our easy plugs. So let's see why the printer got killed. So if I go and pull up the interface here, you can see I have this up already. The error here, you can see thermal runaway, printer halted, kill cold. And you can see the Octoprint setup here because this is tied to the easy plug. So if I click this here, the printer will turn back on and boot back up. It killed the printer because there was a thermal runaway error. This is what I really like using the easy plugs with printers for is this is a huge safety feature. For, so if for some reason there was an issue and the thermal runaway wasn't able to shut down the printer electronically, I just had the AC power cut. So if let's say the MOSFET for this printer bed got stuck on or there was a frayed wire or something and it was sending power where it shouldn't be, causing sparks, causing fire, this easy plug now just potentially saved me from having a way worse situation other than a failed print on my hands. So now I don't think this printer actually has any issue. I believe because I was running the bed at ADC, it just couldn't keep up. Even though it is insulated, this bed doesn't actually put out a ton of heat but either way the product performed how it was supposed to perform and uh, I hope you guys can see the value that a little simple wi-fi plug connected to your printer with an, through octoprint can have on your printer safety and your house you know I if this was an actual issue and I didn't have this setup I could have potentially come out to you know something on fire or god forbid you know the the room on fire but anyways I just wanted to make this quick little video to show you guys this stuff does work and I use it here on my own personal machine. So this is my office that you guys are used to seeing me stream from. Um, these are my personal machines. This is actually a part for my shed. Uh, so I'm going to take a look at the printer, make sure everything's good, and then uh, fire it back up. And hopefully I can get the bed up to a little bit hotter temp. So apparently the Ziltec gear doesn't like going to ADC, but neither did my CR10. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this little easy, quick video.